Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In today's quick tutorial, I'll be showing you how to build a real-time simple dashboard with the BMP 180 and the Arduino. Now, I'll be using a tool which you might be familiar with, and this is Node-RED. It's an incredibly popular yet simple to use tool that is really great for beginners. It's a browser-based tool built on the Node.js application. Node.js is a very popular tool used to build back-end servers, and this is essentially an extension of that where it allows you to put together diagrams and build complex or even simple IoT applications where you can connect components and microcontrollers together within a diagram on Node.js and perform all sorts of applications you want, such as producing dashboards and doing other processing and integrations with other APIs and applications like Telegram, which I'll show in a future video. And it's really nice because you can drag and drop nodes and connect components and produce things like you see right here, this dashboard, with little to no code. So it's really awesome. So I'm going to show you how to set that up end to end in today's tutorial. All you need is an Arduino and a BMP 180 sensor. I'll link everything down in the description below so enough being said guys before we get into it please be sure to like comment and subscribe and let's get started okay so first things first what you want to do is you simply just want to install node if you've never installed it before so just go to nodejs.org and install it for your operating system so i'm just here and then you could just download the node.js lts and install it for your system so once node.js is installed you can go to a terminal i'm on a mac or a command line on a windows machine so that is here, so let me just drag that in. And once we're in this terminal, we just want to install Node Red for Node because it's a package that we have to install. So just do npm install dash g dash s unsafe perm Node Red. So let's just go ahead and enter this. And mine's already installed, so it should be quick. I don't know why it's taking so long right now. So just give that a second. Okay, so cool. Looks like it's installed. So we could just run the command Node Red in the terminal. And then once it's running, we should be able to open the local host port running Node-RED. So that's 1880. So let's just go back to the browser here. Go to localhost 1880. And then let's just open it here. And we see I already have a project here, so I'm just going to go ahead and delete this project. We'll just start from scratch. And so once you open it, you should see essentially a dashboard here. And this is the environment where you will be building your project. So if you got up to this point, congrats, you now have Node-RED installed. And we could start building our dashboard and wiring the sensors to our component. Okay, so next thing we want to do is we just want to install a couple more things in Node-RED. So we just want to go to the top right here, these three lines. Go to Manage Palette. And then we just want to go to install. So the first thing we want to install is the Node-RED dashboard. I already have that installed. And then we want to install the Node-RED serial. So I believe it's called Node-RED. What is it called again? I have it on my blog, Node-RED node serial port. So Node-RED node serial port. No, so let me just zoom in here. So Node-RED node serial. And I should have that installed already. And then just go ahead and install both of those. Of course, those are on my blog on chillatech.com. If you did not catch those, and I, I show you exactly which ones you need. And once those are installed, the next thing you simply want to do is you want to now connect your BMP 180 to your Arduino. So go ahead and take your BMP 180. I have mine pre soldered from Chillatech, so you do not have to do any soldering to connect the pins. So let's assume it's already soldered and you have your jumper wires. We just want to make four connections. Four connections from the BMP 180 to the Arduino. So if you've used sensors before, very common just for I squared C communication. And so this is the diagram I just found out on lastminuteengineers.com. And you don't need a breadboard. You can just connect the pins directly. So that's what I did here. And then just take the four jumper wires and connect to the power pin. So that's five volt to the power pin on the Arduino and then ground to ground on the Arduino. And then we have SDA and SCL. You will see those labeled on the BMP 180 and you'll see them labeled on the Arduino as well, respectively there in green and blue. And then now that you have your connections and you have all of the tools you need in node red let's jump to the code side of things to write some minimalistic code that will write our values for pressure and temperature to the serial monitor okay so next thing we want to do is we simply want to hop into the arduino ide to upload our script while we do this just make sure we go to the terminal and we close node red because we can't read from the serial monitor at the same time the node red application is trying to connect to the Arduino. So whenever you have modifications to your Arduino script and you want to upload code to the Arduino, just go ahead and pause Node-RED, either close the terminal or just 
uh, pause it within the terminal by hitting control C or exiting the node red application because you cannot connect to the same serial port at the same time with Arduino and node red. So I already went and closed my terminal that was running node red earlier. And now I'm in the Arduino ID and we just have this script once again available for free on chillatech.com in the blog below. So we go ahead and paste the script into a sketch and then we just want to make sure we have this Adafruit BMP085 library. So we could just find that in the library manager. It's a free library to install with Arduino. So you can go ahead and just search it, install that library. And once you have that installed, we can simply connect to our Arduino, make sure it's connected to your computer at this point, at this point. And you can see it is, and I could just go ahead and upload the script. And to verify that the script is working, we just want to go to the serial monitor and we want to make sure we are on. So give that a second. So it should be done uploading at this point. And I don't know why the serial mantra is not letting me view my baud rate. So let's go ahead and click that again. So we see it's on about 9,600. So looks like I am getting values in real time. So this is going to be printing to the serial port, which node red will be picking up and eventually displaying that within the dashboard. So we can go ahead and test our sensor. So I'm just putting my finger on the sensor to show you it gets hotter as it touches my skin because my body temperature is higher than 25 degrees Celsius. So it looks like it's working as expected. So go ahead and just do a quick sanity check to verify your sensor is working. And now that our sensor is working and the code's been uploaded, you do not need the Arduino ID anymore. And we can remove its connection to the serial port. So we can go ahead and just quick quit this Arduino IDE. And once we quit it and just disconnect and connect our Arduino, it'll run this code automatically. So that's by design. If you upload code from Arduino, it'll start running it automatically. We just want to make sure we remove the connection to the serial port or else node red will not be able to retrieve the values from the serial port because Arduino is using it. So go ahead and close this and we'll move on to the next step where we add our components in the node red application. Okay, so now last thing, we just want to go back to Node-RED. So make sure Node-RED is now running in your terminal again and your Arduino is connected. And we just want to add our nodes. So this is what the nice, the best part about Node-RED is that you could just add nodes here that are very minimalistic where you don't have to code that much or really sometimes not write code at all to get these flows to work. So the first thing we're going to put in is we're just going to add the serial in node. So this is the serial in. So let's be reading from the serial monitor. So that's what the Arduino is posting the payload to. And then after that, we're just going to have this JSON because it's in JSON format. So we're just going to connect that. And then once we have the JSON node, what we can do next is we could just add the UI gauge. So this is what's going to display the temperature. So we're going to display the temperature as a gauge. And then on top of that, what we're going to do is we're going to have a UI chart. So we can go ahead and put this in. And then between the UI chart and the JSON, because of the way the chart is structured in terms of setting it up, we need a function component, which just passes the, the pressure value to the chart. So we could just do this and connect it. And we could just do this. And so first things first, what we want to do is we just want to double click double click the serial component and we want to set up our serial port. I already set mine up. You could go ahead and just click plus here and add a new serial port. And then you could just search the serial port. So if your Arduino is connected, you could just attach that one, give it a name and put the baud rate as 9600 as it is in the code. And then you can add it. I already added mine. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to double click that. Sorry about that. And then I'm just going to select Arduino and I'm going to name this BMP 180 in. So this is in. So this is the beginning of the flow and then we have the json we don't have to do anything so the the property is just message.payload which is as expected in our code or in our serial monitor and then next we have the gouge so in the gouge what we have to do is we have to assign it a group so go ahead and make a new group it's really simple to set up a group so i already went and set one up this just groups your ui components such as the gauge and the chart and go ahead and set that up and once you have the group set up you can go ahead and just select it here we can call this whatever we like. I'm just going to call it temperature. And then uh, the value is going to be message payload dot temp. Okay. And the units, uh, it's fine for now. We, you could go ahead and play around with all these. I'll leave that up to you. It's just in degrees Celsius. And then next we have the function here. So this is going to essentially forward the the parsed pressure to the chart because we can't pass it a specific payload as we did with the with the with the gouge component so we can go ahead and just select or just type in return payload message dot payload dot pressure so we can just call this pass pressure okay so that's just going to return that to a format that the 
chart can understand. So pass pressure. And then finally, we just have this chart. So we already created that group, so we can assign it to the same group. And then we can just call this chart pressure. And I believe the unit is HPA. Okay. And then once we have that, of course, many properties we can play around with here. We can just go ahead and click done. So it looks like our flow is set up. So I hope that's clear. And then we can go ahead and click deploy. And you should get a green message once it's done deploying. It's taking a bit here, so I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, so it looks like it is done deploying. So what we can do now is we can just go to this local host. We can just go to this URL, we can go to UI, and it should show the value. So it looks like everything is as expected. So we have temperature and we have pressure, and you can see everything's updating in real time. So I can even put my finger on the component. We could see it's 26.1 as my finger goes on it. Pressure will change as you go up and down in altitude. So that's that's fine. And you realize that the temperature is all the way at the end here with this gauge. So we can go ahead and actually play around with these gauge values. So there's actually a minimum. So we could say minimum temperature is zero, max is 50 to make the gauge look more realistic and more appropriate. And we can go ahead and deploy again. And then once that's deployed again, you could see that it is about in the middle of that gauge, which is cool. And of course, there's many other settings you can play around with this, with the temperature, with the chart. And of course, many other things you could do in Node Red itself. So if you got to this point, congrats, you got it set up. And we now have a dashboard that is real time with essentially no code almost from the Arduino. So that pretty much sums it up for today's tutorial. Once again, I hope you got it working. And just know this is the very tip of the iceberg of the things we can do with Node Red. It's a very useful tool that we can use, especially for beginners to develop dashboards, visualizations, and other integrations with our embedded systems applications. So more of that to come on this channel. On the next tutorial, we'll be doing a video on how to integrate our sensor readings with Telegram, which allows us to produce a pretty cool application that can have some real life use cases. So stick around for that and be sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not already because there is a ton of content that I believe can help beginners and advanced programmers in the IoT space. So once again, thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned and I will see you in the next tutorial.